Hi everyone, and welcome back to Wondershare Repair It. While operating your system, you might have come across the three letters DMG and wondered what it meant. In today's video, we'll cover everything you need to know about DMG files, as well as the pros and cons. But before we get started, please smash that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Repair It YouTube channel with notifications turned on, so you don't miss out on any future videos as we upload them. Well, let's get started. So, what is a DMG file? DMG stands for Disk Image and it refers to any disk image file with the .DMG extension, particularly on Apple machines. The Mac OS operating system commonly uses this format and it's also known as a Mac OS X disk image file because it's a digital reconstruction of a physical disk. Mac users typically download files like this from the internet and then install an application by double clicking it. Disk images can be structured using a variety of properties, including Universal Disk Image Format in Mac OS X and New Disk Image Format in Mac OS 9. Now that you know what a DMG file is, let's talk about the pros and cons. DMG files are widely used because lots of people around the world use Macs and therefore use disk file extensions. So let's talk about the various advantages and disadvantages of DMG files. Starting with the advantages, DMG files make it easy to back up software. They allow you to download software in a single file. They can be password protected unlike other file formats. They operate in the same way as a physical disk and checksums are included in DMG files. On the other hand, some disadvantages of DMG files are that they won't work on Mac OS 9 or earlier. Also, because disk images are a Mac OS X feature, they might be unfamiliar to users upgrading from Mac OS 9 or earlier. And there's also the risk that DMG files could contain viruses or malware. So, how does a DMG file work? DMG files basically act as containers that allow Mac OS users to easily install applications by dragging and dropping. Here's how it works. To open a DMG file, all you need to do is drag the file to your applications folder and let go. And just like that, the software will be installed. This saves you a lot of time and effort in the installation process for most apps. A fantastic feature of how DMG files work is that it has a built-in checksum, which verifies the files that are being downloaded. It monitors the file and ensures that it downloads correctly, hasn't been tampered with, and is completely intact. And as a result, that's the main reason the Mac OS operating system prefers DMG files. Next, let's talk about how you open DMG files on your Mac. As we've covered, DMG files basically act as application containers that allow Mac users to easily install software. But if you're unfamiliar with how to load DMG files on your Mac, here's a quick demo. Firstly, locate your DMG file on your system and place it on your desktop. Next, click into Spotlight Search, type Terminal and click Enter. Type CD Desktop and press Enter to change the directory to Desktop. Then type HDI UTIL attach, followed by the file name of your DMG file and press enter. The DMG file will now load. What about loading DMG files on your Windows computer? DMG files are designed for Mac OS X, so Windows can't launch them directly because it's not natively supported. Therefore, we have to make some preparations in order to load DMG files on Windows. Here's what to do. Firstly, download and install the 7-zip program onto your Windows computer. Next, right-click on the DMG file and select Open With. Select Open With 7-zip to load the file with the 7-zip program. Here you have the option to select Open Archive, which will open the DMG file on your Windows system. And just like that, you now know all about DMG files, the pros and cons, as well as how to open them on both Mac and Windows computers. Thanks for watching this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up if it helped you and let us know any thoughts you have about DMG files in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the One to Share Repair It YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.